What's going on guys? J Flesh Tanks. Making a video. Somebody questioned me about filtration on a planet aquarium and what I use. So uh I use canister filters. Every single one of my display tanks has a canister filter. Uh that that you know when I say display tanks, I mean stuff upstairs that my family sees. 40 long, um, 28 gallon, 20 long, uh, the 10 gallon, all that stuff has canister filters. The only thing that does not is my Fluvoflora, and I have a Aqua Clear 30, I think, on that tank, so I'm over filtrating it. But canister filters, guys, are the way to go, and I'll show you what exactly I'm talking about. So under here is my Fluval 306 and my Eheim Echo rated for a 70 gallon, rated for I think 35 gallons. Best filter, I own a couple of those guys, a couple of those guys, Arena XP2, Arena XP1, uh, Rapids Mini Canister Filter, that's a whole new thing because it's, you know, for a nano tank. Um, what else do I got? I think that's what I got right there. The best one, guys, is the Fluval 306, period. Uh, Fluval canister filter just full-blown blows away everything else that I've tried so far. So, you know, if you're looking to buy something, that's, you know, if you're looking to buy a canister filter, I recommend buying that. Oh, I also got a JBJ one. That one kicks butt, but not as much butt as this guy does. Fluval 306 just rocks it out. So that's what I would recommend using, guys. Uh, when it comes to, you know, what kind of media that you're putting in it, I don't use carbon at all in any of my tanks, uh, except my reef tank, and I change that out every two weeks usually. Uh, two to three weeks, somewhere in that range. Um, so I have, you know, stock biofiltration and the foam that it comes with. I rinse the foam out and replace that probably every six weeks or so. Uh, but I never touched the obviously the bio media. But since I had a you know room and all my canister filters where the carbon goes, I picked up these guys. Here let me back up a little bit. Biomate foam filled balls. I picked this up from Dr. Foster's and Smith. Um, I think it was 25 bucks or something. And what it is is these little bio media balls. But on the inside of these ones is uh, it's filled with foam. It's like a foam ball. And since I put this on this tank and the 28 gallon the clarity has improved and just the little tiny particles that float around I mean they're just non-existent and those things are just an irritant so those are all gone so I'm really digging these guys I'm gonna put these in the uh, 75 gallon downstairs I have arena filter down there um, for 25 bucks guys take into account I've I barely used a, maybe a little bit more than half this box and I put it in two Fluval 306's in an entire like compartment so it fills it up I mean, these are probably the size I mean these are golf ball size so there there's quite a few and there's a ton down left in there you can also get uh, ceramic filled ones um, that'll probably be the next thing I purchase is I'll buy the ceramic ones uh, I really wanted to try the foam ones out so that's the way to go guys canister filters in a planet tank rock um, I also recommend you know over filtrating the tank at least twice you know if you got a 20 gallon get something that's rated for at least 40 gallons but that's the that's the 40 gallon as well these dudes are looking awesome I'll give you a couple close up man the turquoises I'm really falling in love with these guys I was talking to Mr. Mom about them and I'm you know if I had to pick one rainbow I might I might well just choose these guys man because they're just phenomenal I love them love them I mean I love the Bozmanis don't get me wrong but these guys, these guys are awesome. I love them. And I love the yellow. The yellow ain't colored up right now. He's king tank, rose line. But that's filtration in a planted tank, guys. Here, I'll give you a quick glimpse. I, I did some maintenance on this guy over here real quick. Hold on. Doesn't look like it, but I trimmed down that star grass. It was all the way to the top of the glass. But these dudes, I'm just growing them out in here. These Denison barbs, rose line sharks, torpedo barbs, whatever you want to call them. Growing them out in this tank for a while. Oh, check this guy out. I just picked him up, man. This dude is sick. Oh, look at him. Come on. Come up to the front. Oh, I got to get a better angle on this dude. This dude is freaking awesome. Focus. Oh, it's not wanting to focus. It's a shame. Killy fish. I got a pair of killy fish. That thing is so 
freaking cool looking man i love that there's another pair there that i don't know they're like orange or something sweet looking but yeah anyways guys filtration got me got me looking at fish uh this tank fluval 306 on a 28 gallon so way to go guys over filtrate canister filters and make sure that uh you know no carbon it definitely no carbon and if you're gonna buy a canister filter i highly recommend fluvals just find the deals guys i got this one for free uh you know check craigslist the one on the 40 gallon i got it for 85 bucks check you know that's what you want to do so that's where we're at guys filtration on a planet tank Keely fish thing is wicked denison barbs uh 28 gallons overgrown mossy mess loving this tank i just trimmed it up but uh if you got any questions or you know something that's better guys let me know uh, i know sumps and wet dries are you know great filtration but not everybody can afford that or uh, they don't want to DIY it. So let me know, guys. J Flush Tanks, Mr. Mom Tanks, Fired Up Fish Tanks, I'm rambling later.